hi guys uh, nice to see you again so uh, as you know if you follow my youtube channel i bought this uh, mi 10 t pro 5g to test the gaming performance and everything of this device so it has already delivered been delivered to me and today we'll do a quick unboxing of this device so the one we got uh, is um, 560 gig gigabyte version of mi 10 t pro in luna silver right okay let's uh, unseal the device okay, by the way i got this uh, during a shopee sale for about uh, 689 dollar i think which i believe is a very good deal so that's like what less than half the price of the note 20 pro uh, note 20 ultra i mean and about only one third of the price of the uh, iphone 12 pro max right so this is i might want to keep this uh, um, sticker because uh, it means it's a local site and has local warranty in singapore because as you know i always sell my devices after i test them so i keep this maybe it will be easier to sell but anyway Let's open the box. The last Xiaomi device I used was Mi 10 Pro. Actually, I had a very good impression of that device. So, hopefully, this is also good. Right? Okay. Here is the device. Uh, 108 megapixel camera with OIS. I believe it's the same one as you have in the Mi 10 Pro. Oh, 144Hz display that's impressive 865 uh, as my per my earlier post if you read that the 865 is actually not any worse than the 865 uh, plus right uh, don't be disappointed if you have an 865 not the plus version because the plus version is actually meaningless uh, it sacrificed too much energy efficiency for a little bit of performance gain it's totally a gimmick uh, check out my previous uh, community post for more info, right? And 5000 mAh uh, hour of battery, okay? That's impressive. I, I expect very long battery life from this guy. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, let's put this aside first and check the box content for a moment. Okay. Uh, so you have the charger which i believe is the 33 watt charger uh what is disappointing is that this is still a usb type a port it's not the type c port as you have with the um samsung maybe yeah samsung actually giving out the type c chargers and uh, okay ah yes it's 33 watt max i don't know if you can see from here Right, and uh, of course with that type A charger, that means your cable is also type A cable. Yes, so you have a type A to type C cable, which um I don't really like. I I pretty like the uh, the new type C to type C standard. So everything is just uh, interchangeable, right? But anyway, it's still that better than uh. The two thousand dollar iPhone, right? Where you don't even have a charge. Okay, I believe Xiaomi will give a TPU case, as always. Oh yes, there it is. Uh, that's what I like, right? Every time, uh, you can start to use your device right away with this case. I uh, don't have to wait for a few more days for the case to arrive. Uh, and uh, a. 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter, which uh, I don't really use that often nowadays because uh, most of my earpieces are just Bluetooth ones. Right? But if you are into that kind of things, uh, Xiaomi got you covered. Okay, let's put this aside first and uh, let's take a look at the device itself. Okay, let's remove the plastic. Oh, and uh, the 
the car as well. Oh, it looks nice. I don't know if you guys have um, uh, seen the Huawei P40 Pro in silver. This looks very similar to that, except that uh, this is a little bit of um, bluish coat silver, and the Huawei silver is more just pure silver, the gray, grayish silver, right? And uh, you have metal frame all around, metal, 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 and uh, your camera box. Uh, this is your main 108 pixel camera and I believe you have some ultra wide camera and another micro camera so you don't have any zoom ability on this uh, I mean no optical zoom you can still digital zoom in a little bit with that 108 megapixel camera because of the super high megapixel count right and uh, let's just turn this on I believe there is a pre-applied screen protector which is also very nice I, I like that. So with the with the screen protector and the case. Oh, the case actually has a design. It says Xiaomi. See, when they give you a case and a screen protector, you can straight away use it as your daily driver. You don't have to wait for anything to to come, right? But uh, let's re still remove the screen protector first. Okay, we see MIUI twelve. Uh, I'll do the setup later. So now let's still uh, check out. So there is your SIM tree, your speaker, and uh, I think it does have a stereo speaker. It's just using the top uh, earpiece as the top speaker. So maybe your uh, it will not be super balanced. Maybe when you are using it this way, you feel the, the right side is a bit louder, the left side is a bit uh, softer, but, but it shouldn't be a big issue. Uh, the camera box is really huge. You see, that's like what three millimeters of uh, protrusion. Um, about the same as a Note Twenty Ultra, yeah, which also has a huge camera box. Uh, and uh, right away you notice that the display quality is not amazing. It's an LCD. It's one forty four hertz. No, no question in that, but you see some dark areas around the edges. I don't know if you can see in the video, but I can definitely tell there are some dark shadows around the punch hole and uh, around the edge. So mm. yeah, it's, um, for, it's a $600 device with uh, 865 So the cost has to be saved from somewhere, right? Uh, now I'll do the setup, uh, set up the fingerprint. Uh, this device actually has a set mounted fingerprint sensor, which also doubles as the power button. This design is uh, actually very similar to that of the Galaxy Z Fold 2, as you can see here. So that's the fingerprint reader and power button on the Xiaomi 10T Pro. And this is on the Galaxy Z Fold 2, right? So uh, this kind of fingerprint is usually faster than your under-display fingerprint sensor, right? Because it actually has a direct physical contact with your finger. Uh, it does not need to use a optical imaging or ultrasonic sound or whatever new fancy stuff it's just a capacitive uh, fingerprint sensor and just works so it will be faster i suppose but anyway we can test it out okay the setup is uh, seamless and uh, we've done the setup Uh, let's test out the fingerprint sensor speed. Uh, actually, I think it's very fast. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, it just unlocks in a blink of eye. 
It's very fast and it's reliable. Uh, it works uh, 10 out of 10 times. Uh, what about, let's compare it to the Z Fold 2. Three, oh, three, two, one. Both are very fast. Three, two, one. Yeah, so that's the good thing about fingerprint, uh, physical, not on the display fingerprint reader, right? It's just super fast. Actually, I think they are about the same speed. It's just because the MIUI 12 has more animations. It looks uh, a, a little bit slower. It takes more time for the animations to play, right? But they are all super fast. No complaints there. Uh, the high refresh rate display on this thing really feels smooth, right? I've always been a, an advocate for high refresh rate displays. But it's really amazing that for six, seven hundred Singapore dollars, you can have 865 plus 144 hertz of display ref refresh rate. Well, on this thing, iPhone 12 Pro Max, uh, it costs almost three times the price but it doesn't have high refresh rate. I, uh, I will take a short video to just show you how much difference it is uh, when you compare uh, 144 hertz to 60 hertz, right? Um, yeah, uh, I, I think just this uh, high refresh display is one of the um, best selling point of this phone. Uh, once you use a higher refresh rate display, uh, it's very difficult to go back. Uh, whenever I use my iPhone, I just feel that the, the display is just not smooth. Uh, just now I ran some benchmarks on this uh, Xiaomi uh, 10T Pro. Um, and also, I ran the same benchmarks on the Note 10, uh, Note 20 Ultra. So the difference between these two devices is that this is an 865 and uh, this has an 865 Plus. Uh, so as you can see, the X 865 Plus actually has a slightly higher single core score in Geekbench 5. Uh, that's about uh, 5 to 6 percent higher, uh, which is very uh, corresponds to the test result I post early on, right? Uh, go check out my community post. But the Xiaomi actually has higher multi-core score. And I think that's because um, whether it's a better thermal design or the chip just overall generates less heat so that when it runs multi-core benchmark, it's able to maintain um, all the cores as high, at high frequency for longer of time. And this one, I think there is a little bit of throttling happening here, okay? And uh, for N22, uh, we can see that the Xiaomi got uh, 582,000 and the Note 20 Ultra got 590,000. So this is slightly higher as well, uh, which is actually expected. Uh, so you can see um, the breakdown, the score breakdown, and uh, notice the temperature change. The Xiaomi actually um, uses slightly less battery, and the temperature change is also not as um, high, all right? But keep in mind, these are just pre preliminary uh, benchmark results. Um, we still need to uh, wait for further real world game testing, uh, gaming test to really understand the difference. So one last uh, result I'm going to show you, uh, the benchmark result is this uh, wildlife stress test. This is actually very interesting. As you can see, the best score on the 865 plus is indeed higher than the best score on the X65. That is expected because your X65 Plus has higher GPU frequency. But, but the lowest loop score are exactly the same. That gives you slightly better stability on the Xiaomi because um, uh, eventually they drop to the same performance, but initially the Note 20 Ultra has higher performance. 
So in terms of stability, you see the higher drop, but in the Xiaomi, um, it's more stable. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's actually not meaningful to push your frequency to a, such a high level to just achieve better benchmark scores because eventually you, you just see after uh, 16, 17 uh, benchmark runs, you throttle to the same level. In that sense, your plus version of the SOC does not actually benefit at all, right? So that's the unboxing and uh, some initial benchmark testing of the Xiaomi uh, 10T Pro 5G. And of course, in the coming days and weeks, I'll do more real-world gaming tests and uh, other interesting tests on this. So uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned for future videos. Bye.